Inside Feed Punters Club podcast, a massive weekend of racing and we'll have a look at all things sport as well. But Magic Millions racing this weekend, uh, a huge week of racing. If you're not on the Inside Feed Punters Club on podcast, you're doing yourself an injustice. So find us, join us. It's all free. Joined like every week by James Frayne, um, who's resident tipster and special guest, guest tipster, Harry Wilson from Queensland Reds and Australian Wallabies fame. Good evening, gentlemen. Evening, Trav. How are we? Trav. Good? We, I should say we're filming this in the innings break of the heat. Um, the heat of uh, uh, need to chase down 150. They're fucking certainties. Um, <laughs> Wilso just said that Max Bryant's going to get 75, not out. <laughs> and I'm banking on Lenny getting 75 as well. So the heat just win. This won't age well because we'll publish this tomorrow. So hopefully that ages really fucking well. Um, <laughs> all right. We're going to... Wilso, your, your area of expertise is um, NRL cricket is there anything else like we should say for all the punters out there that are watching that you did have a massive fill up on the horses last week but you, you don't necessarily do your own form no nah, no nah, listen to my father and uh inside feed punters club and uh <laughs> you took the on. highlight of my weekend was parody really Paradee. really saved your, fa with the your father cam wilson can tip a winner um and she's actually going around again this week parody but i'm not as keen um god bless oh, her <laughs> Great horse, but I'm not as keen. Fuck, it was a good win last week. And again, if you weren't uh, on parody last week, um, suck shit, great win by her. Uh, I, I don't know whether she'll do it again this week. But um, anyways, we'll rip in. Frano, you and I might take the lead on a bit of horse racing. We're only going to focus on the Gold Coast and we're going to play with 100 bucks again. But what have you found at the Gold Coast for this weekend for the fucking magic millions, which is literally probably the best race day maybe of the year? Well, I'm pretty bloody stoked, Trav, because I've used up all my bad luck for 2021 last weekend. So I'm due for 51 positive weeks of punting, I reckon. Um, for all those loyal listeners of the show, every one of my horses that I that I backed last week got fucking backed off the map and then proceeded to run fourths or seconds or yeah. get caught up in traffic. Just one Very of those true. things. And I'll just say, if first time listeners, we did start with a bank of $100 last week. Um, Frayne, your bank from 100 has gone to zero. Um, <laughs> Doing well. <laughs> you're, on, um, you're on fucking um, cash converters quick loan. Um, mine, um, without boasting, is at 220 thanks to Parody. All right. Well, first, first race of the Gold Coast, I reckon there's some value. Okay. We've got a um, Casa Tranquila at fifteen dollars and four forty the place. Got to overcome a wide barrier. I think with the emergencies coming out, it's going to run uh, fourteen or sixteen. But I know the trainer had an opinion of this horse, and there's been a bit of money for it already. It's got its second start. Uh, ran second behind a, a smart goal and runner on debut about six months ago. So I'm prepared to um, to have a crack at the price. I think um, there's some some differing form lines all meeting here, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a throw at the stumps at 15 and 440. Yeah, so that's race one at the Gold Coast. That's the richest maiden I think ever, like richest maiden of the year. Um, Magic Millions race one is always the richest maiden on the calendar. It's race one number 13, Casa Tranquilla for Freyna. What else, Frame Train? All right. Then going to race five, uh, a theory. I was uh, trackside a few weeks ago when this horse absolutely gave them all wind burn and killed them. Um, 290 favourite. Um, it's got a good barrier. It's got Nash, uh, Ruil on. So I'm sticking with, I think it hopefully is an easy watch. You want anything in that race, Trav? Uh, I do. I'll get to that shortly. <laughs> It's not a theory, but um, then uh, then in the two year old race, I'm I'm steering clear. I'm steering clear of the favourites, and I'm going to play around uh, a couple of place bets on some longer price ones. There's one called um, Baby Wong, four twenty to place. Um, it's had um, it gets Nash again, uh, Nash, and I'm, I've packed him in the last race that, and and I'm on him again here. It's one of those ones where. I feel like it's been there, thereabouts. It's been it's run second behind Alpine Edge, I think twice. Um, Alpine Edge is about nine dollars. This is fourteen dollars. I think with a better jockey, it's got a good barrier. Uh, I like where it races, just off the speed. Um, so I think that's a good bet. Finance Tycoon won last week in a real uh, bulldog effort. Uh, Three seventy. Uh, once again, it's got a it's got a rubbish barrier, but. I think it's a good horse and I think it'll take improvement. I think the trainer came out and said it'll take improvement from that first up run. 
Um, so I think it, it's a great bet. And then uh, I think the better the card in the th- three-year-olds is away game to go back to back. I'm I'm all over it. I think it's going to get it done. Yeah, I uh, I, I will um, agree or maybe disagree with you shortly. So um, so recapping, you've got one in the first, um, then you're a theory race five, and a couple of uh, uh, place bets in the two-year-old classic, which is the uh, which is the sixth race on the card, and then your race seven, the three-year-old classic, um, which is one of the richest races uh, on turf, is away game. All right, I'll rip through mine. I've got six bets on the Gold Coast card. Um, a couple, um, a couple, a bit controversial. Um, race two, Paradis in that race, and God bless her, I do love her, but I'm going against Paradis. <laughs> Much to your disgust, Harry. Um, but a little omen tip here maybe for you, Harry. Um, race two, it's Lily. Race two, it's Lily. <laughs> it's, uh, race two, I'll find the number very shortly. Uh, race two, number eight, it's Lily. It's been running in New South Wales. In fact, all of my bets on Saturday are horses, I think, from New South Wales, except for one. Um, it's been running around. I think it won at Kemble last start. I think the Gold Coast will suit it. It's about 6.50. Uh, race two, number eight, it's Lily. Then I'm going to race three for Glenn Boss and going race three, number three, Primitivo, which is the staying race, 2,400 metres. Primitivo won this race last year and it beat, it had Glenn Boss on it and it beat Black on Gold and Amanda Match. And they are numbers two, three and four on the card this weekend. I think Primitivo just wins again. I think Ballistic Boy last week was under the odds. Did it get scratched, Ballistic Boy? I can't remember what happened to Ballistic Boy last week. No, it anyway, didn't, didn't beat Parity. Yeah, um, it's under the odds again. So I'm going Primitivo, race three, number three. Um, and then again, against you in race five, Frame Train, I'm actually going uh, race five, number 11, Stolen Jade, which won on the weekend. Um, yeah, and I, again, ride. I think it's a very good horse. Um, drops weight, it's won four on a trot, so it's looking to make its picket fence five. Respect for a theory, very good horse. In fact, that's a really fucking good race. Um, so that's three down, very keen. They're all about each way odds. They're all about seven bucks, all those horses, six, seven bucks. Uh, race six, the two-year-old classic for the sake of a bet. I'm actually uh, like you. I don't like the favourites at all. Um, I think the Gabe Waterhouse run a swift witness, which did win well on the weekend is the favourite. It, it can't win. Um, I'm going race six, number three, readily available, um, which has been, which is 26 bucks, seven bucks the place. Um, again, very light bet, won't be overly um, into it. I'll skip race seven and I'll go race eight, 11, 11. So race eight, number three, uh, Nash Rewilla on board. I think it's drawn perfect. It comes, it goes against Yao Dash, which won on the weekend, but Yao Dash and it uh, locked horns, two starts ago, an 11, 11 game at Winburn. So I'm going race eight, number three, yeah, uh, 11, 11. So there is a couple of tips for you, but the best bet of the weekend, which will be like parody last week. Oh, yep. Look this, give it. <laughs> um, Write this down. You're awake. Uh, race seven. I'm actually with Frayne. Race seven, oh, God. number three. Oh, no. Away game is the best bet of the weekend. Four dollars twenty. Always play the away game, Trav. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Yeah. If I ever get anything, absolutely. Uh, which is fucking rare. Um, race, uh, race seven, number three, away game, Glenn Boss, these two horses trialed. So isotope and away game trialed at the Gold Coast. It'll be up on our website tomorrow morning. If you're watching this on Friday, which it will be, because we won't publish it beforehand, it'll be on the website now. The trial will be on the website now. Um, away game trial better than it. I don't think isotope handles track that well at the Gold Coast. I just think away game will look the winner at the 200. Bossy will be swinging off it. And I just hope it holds on, which I think it will. 420, great bet. Better of the weekend. Race seven, number three, away game. Bang. All right. So, Will, so for you there, you should back away game. Um, actually, all those five that I gave you, apart from the one in the two-year-old, readily available. I'm going to go away game and parody. They're, they're my big two. <laughs> and then uh, that tip for race one, number 15, I'm pretty sure. They're, they're my three, three good ones. And then yep. Cameron Wilson's got to get the rest for me. Cameron Wilson, he should start a tipping service. He backed this fucking thing last week, Frayne. I got a text from Harry, I don't know, yeah, race five at Randwick. <coughs> King of Hastings. It was paying 13 bucks. I think you tipped me it. And it sat three wide on the speed. It was literally high-fiving people in the car park in the grandstand and still fucking won. 
Yeah, yeah. Remember, remember I, I tipped it on the podcast to but at, to run at Melbourne because yeah, I didn't think they'd run it at Ringley. And yeah, so Harry, it dual accept it dual, it accepted in Melbourne and Sydney, and they can scratch out of one, obviously. So they ran yeah, it. Yeah. Frame tipped it in Melbourne, obviously didn't run in Melbourne, so doesn't count, Frame. Anyways, I know. what are you doing with your hundred dollars, Frano? I am chucking fifty dollars on away game. And one that uh, wasn't in the Gold Coast preview, but it's actually running out down at Flemington. Race eight, number two, long arm, paying $4. Had its first start in Australia from, um, I think, overseas, a UK runner, something like that. Uh, put one well, goes up. It goes up in distance again. Now to 2,000 metres, looked like, has stayer written all over it. I think it's a great bet. So $50 on away game, $50 on long arm. Not getting too fancy, and I'm trying to going to peg you. Hopefully, try and peg you back. Yeah, well, you're in you're in debt at the moment. So, um, two bets for Frame, two fifty dollars uh, away game and long arm, long arms for the Gallagher's team. That's a good horse, I reckon. I agree. Uh, I'm just going chips in away game. I think it's a fucking good bet. Uh, Hundred on the win away game. My balance will be one twenty if I lose. Yours will be negative hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Righto, Harry. This is where you come into your own. Fran and I, and I last week gave our long range selections. I'm sure as a avid listener, you heard um, yeah. for the NRL, the AFL, Super Rugby, and the BBL. Um, I think I know where you're going with the Super Rugby. Um, and I know you fangirl the Brisbane Lions players. <laughs> <laughs> they fangirl me, mate. They do fangirl you. So, but give me who do you like in the NRL this year? <laughs> And who do you like in the BBL? Talk us through it. <laughs> yeah, well, NRL, I've, I've looked at the odds. Rabbitohs at $6.50. Oh, yeah. So I can't go past that. And one of my favourite columns was most losses in the NRL this year. And Broncos are sitting at $5. I reckon We're, that is easy money. I mean, obviously, we, we, we love Play Up as our sponsor. But um, where's that market? Blood Brokes. Blood Brokes, yeah. Wow. Most losses. That's a great market. Yeah, there's. I think Bulldogs were three dollars fifty with uh, St George, but I was like, no, nah, Broncos. What's the difference so, between a wooden spoon market and a most losses market, mate? Wouldn't it? Yeah, be- nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there could be two draws in there or something. <laughs> Maybe they'll they'll they'll, yeah. they'll forfeit them due to COVID, so that's not technically a loss. <laughs> that's what we'll do. All right, so so you're with the Rabbitohs. Yeah. What, t- tell me in 20 seconds or 30 seconds or however long the fuck you want why the Rabbitohs will win. I actually think they're pretty short in the market, $6.50. No, so I reckon value for money is Rabbitohs to win with the Premiership. He's going to be the key player and fullbacks always poll well. So uh, team set, Wayne Bennett's last year's potential head coach. It's meant to be. He did it for the Maroons. Why can't he do it for the Rabbitohs? Well, he, he also stepped down for the Maroons today. Yeah, he didn't want to. He just wanted to put all his folks in the Rabbitohs, mate. It's a busy job when we get in the finals. Yeah, okay. All right. So, Will Sows with the Rabbitohs for the, and for full declaration, Will, uh, Will Sows fucking number one ticket holder for the Rabbitohs. So, that was always <laughs> going to be the case. Um, to recap mine, I went the Storm, uh, with, who was seven bucks, just because I love their spine of um, uh, Pappenhausen, Munster, and Harry Grant. Uh, presumably, it really uh, stuck your neck out. <laughs> it's, it's the yeah, they're still the best of the competition. Fair yeah. enough. Well, I just well, they're seven bucks. That's a good bet. Yeah, it is uh, a good bet. Fran, you went with the Raiders. I... Yeah. You st- were you drunk? Raiders, That's what happened, mate? Mate, the Raiders. It's they've been there thereabouts the last few years. They get Josh Hodgson, a fresh Josh, Josh Hodgson for a full season. Um, they've got that. Uh, English halfback whose name escapes me at the moment. They've William. been playing same same team playing together for a long time. Uh, they all know each other's game inside out. They'll adapt better to the rule changes. Bloody get no around. Bateman, but what were they paying? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah no. trainees a lot, but they've got another they've got another back row um, coming back that was injured for most of the season. Gula, he's pretty good. Uh, they're, paying, they're, paying bucks. they're paying 10 bucks yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, we, one thing of your tip Trav wingers on a, at a car still there but outside back depth at Storm oh, mostly been a valley big loss oh how do you go at training Harry yeah it looks good 
I saw a photo of his fucking quad on uh, Instagram. It's a bit bigger than mine. Um, <laughs> he's um, he's fitting in well. Yeah, I uh, don't know who plays on their other wing. Um, maybe they get like Matt Guyer back or... Uh, I don't know. They'll, they'll, find, they'll find some freak. Like Matt King on the wing. Matt King, there you go. Fuzzy hair. Why not? Yeah. Um, uh, uh, AFL. Uh, Harry, uh, do you follow the AFL heavily or no? Uh, I, follow, I watch all Lions games. I can't say I watch many of the other teams play. No, but fuck, neither do I. If, if Lions don't win it this year, they've got the best roster. They've got the best player in the competition. And they've got that uh, Joe Dennerhead coming. He's supposed to be a freak. So I haven't watched many other teams play, but they win most of their games. So if they can't win this year, fucking... Yeah, no, I agree. I actually tipped him. Frayne, you went to the Tigers. Really fucking stuck your neck out like I did. Stuck neck out like you did. <laughs> Frayne's also predicted for the Sunrise tomorrow. Um, and um, oh, well, actually, uh, we'll, um, we'll go to BBL in a second. Obviously, you're sporting the LeBron James Lakers singlet. Um, obviously, a Lakers bandwagon fan. Um, are you on the Lakers for the NBA this year? The fucking big trade today was James Harden going to the Brooklyn Nets. Which is fucking massive. Um, are you where, where are you? Are you obviously think the Lakers will do it again? Yeah, definitely. But I wouldn't mind uh, Brooklyn Nets to win either. So it, it's a, it's a win win this year. You just always go for both teams, both the best teams. So you're always a winner there. But. A Brooklyn Lakers final would be fucking sick. That would be so. Because if, if LeBron wins that, he's that's where he generally is in the goat conversation. Because winning against the uh, genuine big three now. Yeah, I'm writing that down. Harry Wilson, big call. LeBron the goat. Um, <laughs> and BBL front. Uh, not front. Will say. Frayne, or Frayne went the heat. I went the I score. That. Yeah, of course oh, you do. I reckon, Will say, I honestly reckon you could get number one ticket hold for the heat next year. We should uh, talk. Can like, there's no can air, air it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you could play. Will say did get a quick hundred one day. Um, uh, we'll talk to Lenny or something and, and get you in there, uh, Will Uh Who are you going? Are you just going to back the Heat? No, no. Well, I want Heat to win. Obviously, I'll go oh. for them. But I agree with you. Perv Scorchers, yeah. they're coming. They're coming back so hot right now, and they're losing Mitch Marsh for a few weeks, but doesn't really affect them much. They've got so much depth. Jason Roy and Livingston opening the batting. Two, two are probably the best batters, and then Joe Richardson. How good's he? Oh. Fucking excellent. Their bowling attack's awesome. Richardson, Ty. Who else have they got? Um, the spinner. And the Hardy. The Hardy. Both good medium paces. He does. And then they've got, is it Farwood Ahmed? Farwood Ahmed? Mm. Mate, they're, they're, they're and fucking. And Berendorf, the left armour. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I locked them in at seven bucks or something. They're fucking. They are. They will win. He, he, he scorches final. It's happening. Okay. Mate, Linny needs to go bang in the final and happy days. We've got. I missed all that. Did you get that frame? That might oh, not yeah. recording. Did you what did you what did you say, Wills? <laughs> oh, I said Heat finally have a uh, bowling attack. They haven't had one for the last few years, but they've yeah, always had some bowling attack yeah, now. Now they lose Majeed, but Majeed was fucking excellent. I think Swepson should be released now, but due from oh, true. Yeah, true. And they've got yeah. Mornay there, Mornay Morkel. Found out Bold Bold. Mornay Morkel's 36 years old. I thought he was like fucking 28 or something. Mm. And he's a local? <laughs> yeah, Ros Kelly. Um, all right. Um, last one from um, Wilso, um, Super Rugby. <laughs> <laughs> Brumbies? Actually, fucking frame went the Brumbies. Oh, no, <laughs> com no comment, no comment. <laughs> Not allowed to bet on that. Um, all right, well, I went the Reds because um, I think their back row is really good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I, I don't know much about it, but um, Frame and the Brumby, so fuck him. All right, um, if you don't do anything else this weekend, punters, um, make sure you back away game um, and do it responsibly because I think it is a fucking moral. Um, so does Frayne and Wilson will be on too. Um, otherwise, go the Heat, um, go the Rabbitohs if you're Harry Wilson or the Wilson family. Uh, and we'll be back next week with a thousand more winners, hopefully. Um, Frano, thank you. Harry, thank you for your wisdom. And uh, I know that we'll see you soon again. And just to finish it off, Novak Djokovic at the Australian Open. Multi right. that up. Rabbitohs, Lakers, Novak Djokovic, easy money. Who put that on for you? <laughs> Cheers, Trav. Happy birthday, me. So, Frano, I gave Wilson a, 20, a uh, 21st? Yeah. 21st present. It was a multi. Um, Lakers... 
Djokovic, Torches. Was that it? No. Um, Lakers, Djokovic, and Rabbitohs. Rabbit 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 Should have yeah. fucking... I don't, just, wanna, I, I don't want to burst anyone's bubble. I, don't, I genuinely I don't know. He, I think he's the only one who's actually coming. Yeah, right. Well, is oh, not. Immoral. Djokovic would pay if there was a war going on. He loves it. <laughs> Seriously. You're breaking... Yeah, no. Seriously, it, it, yeah, he loves it. He played. Yeah, USC. yeah, it looks like he's coming. Yeah, Federer is not. Mate, fucking moral. Good tipping. Easy. Right up. Um, that'll do us. Thank you, gentlemen. I shall see you all soon. Good luck on the weekend. Beautiful. Thank you. Bye bye.